The extensive use of information technology has resulted in the adoption of personal computers or PCs in the workplace. Often, there is a lack of attention placed on ergonomic principles in the setup of the workstation and adoption of work practices. With improper posture adopted during the long hours of computer work, the symptoms of headache, neck pain, shoulder stiffness, back sore, and eye strain could set in. This can affect morale and productivity of workers and may give rise to absenteeism and mental stress. I tend to sit up straight or lean forward when I'm stressed or when I'm focusing on work because this also gives an impression that I'm serious at work. But I tend to develop neck and shoulder stiffness at the end of the day. A common misconception about posture is that one has to sit upright with the body at 90 degrees to the time. When we compare the different sitting posture to standing position, the 90 degree upright posture actually places pressure onto the spinal disc at the lumbar level by as much as 40%. However, when the back is fully rested against an inclinable backrest between 100 to 110 degrees, the spinal disc pressure is much reduced. User can experience significant relief to the lower back as the back muscles are relaxed. Adopting ergonomic principles in the workplace is not difficult. Let us begin by examining some of the principles that we can apply at our workstations. We start with the principle of support. This means the placement of relevant bodily weight against a firm and supportive surface. A comfortable working posture can be started by supporting the back fully against the backrest, pulling yourself as close to the table as possible, adjusting the height of the chair such that the elbows are at the level of the table surface, and ensuring your elbows and forearms are fully supported on a firm surface. In this posture, the back, elbow, and forearms are comfortably resting on the firm surface. However, if you find that the feet are resting on the chair casters or dangling, a foot rest would be needed to ensure that your feet are comfortably rested on a firm surface. This will also reduce pressure on the back of the thighs. Frequently used items, such as the keyboard and mouse, are to be placed close to the user. This constitutes the primary working zone where the user can access the items easily without changing of sitting posture. Next, the principle of neutrality. This means the positioning of relevant bodily joints in neutral and comfortable positions as much as possible. Neutrality to the wrist can be done by adjusting the height of the chair, tucking the elbows closer to the body, and placing the frequently used items in the primary zone working area. Next, adjust the computer screen height such that the top half of the screen is at the eye level and tilt the computer screen 10 to 30 degrees upwards. Awkward positions to the neck and wrists place undue amounts of strain to the muscular tendons, giving rise to neck ache and joint pain. Such issues can be reduced by placing the wrists and neck in neutral and comfortable positions during work. With the rapid adoption of mobile devices both at home and at the workplace, neck ache and wrist pain can occur when the principles of ergonomics are not observed. Fortunately, the same principles of support and neutrality can also be applied in the use of smartphones or mobile devices. One only has to pay attention to the bodily parts that are involved in the use of these mobile devices to ensure that the neck, back and wrists are placed in comfortable positions during use of these devices. The principles of support and neutrality described in this video are not meant to be prescriptive. Rather, it brings about the awareness that one has to avoid adopting posture that places the bodily muscles under undue strain. Whether you're using a computer, engaging a mobile device, or working in a laboratory, we can design the workplace and encourage work practices that fulfills the principles illustrated in this video. In today's society, work and personal life are becoming increasingly intertwined. When muscular aches and pains take root in the body, the effect extends to all facets of life. As such, it is vital for all of us to play our part in improving health. While adopting ergonomic principles in the workplace can reduce ill health and improve productivity, we must remember that our body thrives on a healthy dose of physical activity. As more preventive medicine discoveries are made, Companies can incorporate evidence-based preventive measures in the workplace and create a lively environment where a healthy and productive workforce thrives, thereby turning discoveries into healthier communities. <laughs>